I want to show you guys an issue of what I've found with adding a LED third brake light. Um, and this is for most trucks. It's not just Dodge, but I'm going to show you what I ran into when I installed this third brake light. And I'm just now getting to resolve it. So walking around the truck, as you can tell, well, you'll tell more here because it's in the shade, but we have our marker lights on in the front. You can't really tell here because of the sun, but you know, there it is. There's a little something going on there. And then the tail lights are on. Now, when you have these lights on, these marker lights, tail lights and whatnot, so one thing that should not be lit up with these third brake lights, you can see in here, if you look in here, these lights, there's four on each side. Uh -huh. Those should not be lit up, but right now they are. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's one of the problems with these third brake lights. And nobody, and nobody shows you how to fix it. So first thing we need to do is we need to get that third brake light out so we can get that fixed. And I'll show you guys how to do that. That's an old. So guys, we got the third brake light out of the truck and we have the old one sitting here and there's a reason for that. So as I've said before, and I'm going to say a lot more, these here on this in particular light, these are your cargo lights. They're LED, they're chip lights. They should not be on with your markers. And right now with mine, and it's too bright to really show you. Hopefully you guys saw that earlier, but anytime my markers are on the trucks on or what they're lit up really dim which is what we don't want so there's four wires coming out of the back you're going to have a ground and you're going to have a stoplight and you're going to have lights for the or wires for the um cargo lights and i was on the internet trying to figure out what's what well i remembered i have this i have the factory third brake light so all we need to do here is we need to take our factory third brake light. We need to see that we have a pink and a blue and a red and a yellow for our cargo lights, which are right here. So that, take this off of here if we can. So we have red and white, pink and blue. That's going to be power and ground for your cargo lights. Now this is important for what we're going to do. Now looking at our new one, that is going to be black and white. Black and white is going to be our pink and red. So what we're going to do for that black and white, which is our cargo light, we are going to install an inline resistor. Now I got this one from Napa. This is Napa's inline resistor. This is good for a lot of things. One, mainly if you, if you do LED turn signals and you notice you have a rapid flash, this is going to fix that. Uh, also, you know, you put LED bulbs in a modern car, sometimes they throw lights, basically saying that you have a bulb out when it's not. It's because LED lights do not have the load that an incandescent bulb does. So this is one thing that's really important for that. And how you install these on our black and white, and this is why this is important to know which these wires are, power and ground, because what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this, and we're gonna go in line. It's gonna be in uh, parallel with the light itself. So if you can imagine, we're gonna put one here and one here and create a parallel circuit that adds load. First thing we need to do, and we're gonna do this real clean. First thing we need to do is pull this back a little bit. We have our black and white wires down here. We're gonna take, we're gonna clean this up, you know, real good to begin with. 
And we're gonna take our resistor. So we got our resistor mounted to the back of our our light and since it's an, just an inline resistor it doesn't matter which side goes to what as long as you're in parallel with the circuit you're trying to add resistance to. So with our white and our blue wires here what I'm going to do since what I'm going to be using is one of these heat shrink connectors, little butt connectors, I'm actually going to go through I'm going to come in here I'm going to actually cut both the white and the black. Now, I'm gonna strip, I'm gonna strip some wire back on both these. And these are very, very thin, so it's not gonna take much. Strip those back. And first, I will take care of the black side. So I'm gonna twist these together. Twist them together. The way these ones, these butt connectors work, is you only crimp once. So I'm going to put these guys in here, and then I'm going to come through on this black wire. I'm going to strip it back. These strippers could be better too, but it's okay. They'll work for what we're doing. Try to cut that off. Twist this so it doesn't fray out on us. We're going to stick that in the other end of the butt connector. And it's going to be kind of difficult because there's already wires in there, so it's going to have to get creative. Put one crimp in the middle. These could be better too, I guess. Try using these instead. Kind of untraditional, but I don't have my good crimpers here. So we're going to make do. We're going to do that. Make sure the wires don't pull out. None of them do. Now, that's the just the heat shrink part of it moving. We'll take a lighter and we will heat this. It's actually going to shrink down on the wire. And these have glue in them too, so that glue attaches itself to the wire as well. Kind of make sure nothing moves. So that's one side. So that's all we need to do to add that inline resistor. Now these can also be used if you add LED turn signals. It will get rid of the rapid flash because it gives it the load of a normal incandescent bulb. And also on newer vehicles, when you swap over to LED bulbs, you'll get a, a, a notification or a light on the dash saying that there's a bulb out when there's not. It's because the load of an LED bulb is so low that the computer doesn't even see it. So. We're going to get this put back in and we're going to test her out and see what happens. So 
So first good sign, guys. We got it in there. We'll climb up there in a second to show you guys that they are not dim anymore. They're actually off. So that's a good sign. Let me turn the uh, cargo lights on and make sure they come on. So as you can see, guys, the cargo lights come on. They're nice and bright like they should be. Let's jump up there and uh, turn these off and show you guys they are not dim. They're not lit. They're off. So here we are, guys. There, There's no light coming out of those things like there was earlier. So, guys, that wraps up today. Uh, it works. It works like it should now. We got the resistor in line. We have a third brake light that isn't dimly lit on us now. So if you guys have any questions and anything you want to see or want to know, um, different ideas, feel free to let me know. And I would be more than happy to answer your questions. And in this case, do some videos in line of it and uh, show, you guys some, show you guys some solutions. So with that being said, guys, I'm going to let you guys go. I'm going to clean this thing up, get ready to go to Eugene, and uh, we'll see you guys on the next one.